The Eastern Cottontail is the most common species of rabbits in North America. It is a New World Cottontail rabbit that is a member of the Leporidae family. This rabbit is chunky in appearance, has a red brown or gray color with large hind feet, long ears, and short white tail hence its cute name. A distinct rusty patch on the rabbit's tail is present. The male looks different from the female. It has a brown gray color found around the neck and the head while the body is lighter and has a white underside found on the tail. The Eastern Cottontail has large brown eyes and oversized ears that it uses to see and hear danger or threats. During the winter time, the fur of the Eastern Cottontail is more gray than brown. The babies will develop the same color after a few weeks of life. The kits will also have a white blaze that is found on their forehead, but this mark will soon disappear as the bunny becomes mature. The Eastern Cottontail can weigh from 1.8 to 4.4 pounds and has an average weight of 2.6 pounds. The female is heavier, but the two genders tend to overlap when it comes to size. There is a slight variation in body size of these breeds with weights that seem to increase from north to south. The recognized colors of Eastern Cottontails range from red-brown to gray-brown. There are distinct color patterns on the body, especially on the head, back, and tail. The kits have the same color after a few weeks but have a white spot that goes down their heads. Distribution of the breed The Eastern Cottontail can be found in meadows as well as in shrubs in the eastern and south-central areas of the United States, southern Canada, east of Mexico, and the northernmost parts of South America. You will find a large number of Eastern Cottontails in the Midwest states of North America as well as Arizona and New Mexico. Because of clearing forests, the Eastern Cottontails range has expanded north. Originally, this breed is not found in New England, but it was introduced in the area and now competes for resources with the New England Cottontail. Some people say that the two Cottontails appear to look alike. It was also introduced in U.S. states like Washington and Oregon as well as Canadian provinces like British Columbia. During the mid-1960s, this breed was taken to Cuba, Cayman Islands Puerto Rico, Barbados, Dominican Republic, Grenada, Haiti, Guadeloupe, and St. Croix. Temperament The eastern cottontails are very territorial. When this rabbit is chased, it will run in a zigzag pattern. This rabbit breed prefers an area where it can quickly hide even out in the open. It is found in swamps, bushes, thickets, and also in open areas where hiding places are available. The Eastern Cottontail can use the dens of groundhogs as temporary homes during wintertime. Eastern Cottontails are crepuscular, which means that these rabbits can spend most of the daylight hours taking a break in shallow areas under vegetative cover. This rabbit can be found at any time of the day. It can feed nocturnally too. The Eastern Cottontail is most active when there is less visibility, such as during foggy days and rainy nights, but are known to be active all year long. This rabbit breed can move for very short distances and may even be found sitting without moving like a statue for 15 minutes. Reproduction in the wild. The time of breeding varies between different cottontail populations and within different populations year after year. Usually, the breeding of wild eastern cottontail happens later when the specimen is located in higher latitudes and elevations. According to studies, temperature than diet has been the primary factor in the onset of breeding. Also, some people relate to weather or severe weather with the delays in the start of breeding. In areas in New England, breeding starts from March to the middle of September. In specimens found in Alabama, breeding can happen in January and ends in the middle of the year. In Georgia, breeding can last for nine months. In Texas, breeding happens all year long. Specimens found in Western Oregon breed from late January to the first weeks of September. The mating behavior of Eastern Cottontails is promiscuous. When building a nest for her litter, the female digs a slanting hole from soft soil. She lines it with vegetation and fur. The average size of the nest is 7.09 inches in length, 4.9 inches in width, and 4.71 inches in depth. The average gestation of the eastern cottontail is 28 days from 25 to 35 days on average. The eastern cottontail babies are born with a fine coat of hair but are blind. Eyes start to open at around 4 to 7 days, and at this time, these newborns are ready to move about and explore their area. The youngsters begin to move out of their nest in short trips at around 12 to 16 days. These will be completely weaned from their mother and from their nest at around 4 to 5 weeks. At around 7 weeks, the litter will disperse. The mother is not so attached to her litter. She does not stay in the nest for a long time and just returns to the opening of the nest to nurse her young. She will do this twice a day. By the time the eastern cottontail is three months of age, these are ready to mate. Most females are ready to breed in the spring after birth, but around 10 to 30% breed as youngsters or juveniles, or during the summer season of the year that they are born. 
Males will mate with females or more than one female. Usually, female rabbits can have up to seven litters consisting of one to 12 babies called kits in a single year. The average is from three to four liters yearly. In the South, female Eastern cottontails have more litter in a year but fewer young ones in a litter. In New England, the females have around three to four litters in a year. Eastern cottontails can have as high as 35 babies in a year. Diet in the wild. In the wild, the Eastern cottontail has a varied diet and is dependent on the availability of food. These rabbits eat vegetation exclusively. Studies show that there can be up to 145 plant species in the diet of local Eastern cottontails. The natural diet includes barks, leaves, fruit, flowers, twigs, seeds, rush seeds, sedge fruits, and grass seeds of almost all kinds of plants in its habitat. Some cottontail breeds will produce two kinds of droppings, and one of these is reconsumed. This redigestion is said to increase the nutritional values of many dietary items found on rabbit droppings. During the summertime, eastern cottontails will eat tender green herbs if these are available. In many areas where eastern cottontails are found, Kentucky bluegrass and Canada bluegrass are necessary for the animal's diet. Other species will eat clovers and crabgrasses, which are usually available all year long. Cottontails found in Connecticut will eat summertime foods like clovers, timothy, bluegrasses, alfalfa, quackgrass, crabgrass, dandelion, plantains, ragweeds, goldenrods, redtops, chickweed, and more. This rabbit will also consume several domestic crops like wheat, oats, or anything available for them to snack on. Eastern cottontails are also active during the cold season. This is when even green vegetation is blanketed with snow. These rabbits will readily consume twigs, buds, and barks of woody plants and trees. In Connecticut, winter foods are gray birch, smooth sumac, and red maple, which are available even when the temperature drops significantly. Habitat Parameters Eastern cottontail habitat parameters are important in ponderosa pine, pinyon juniper, and mixed species. It lives in woodlands with woody debris, shrubby and herbaceous understories, and degrees of patchiness. Eastern cottontails are found in areas in and around farms such as pastures, fields, open woodland areas, thickets with fence rows, forest edges, wooded thickets, and suburban places provided there is adequate cover and nearby food. Some specimens may survive swamps and marshes but will not remain in dense and deep woods. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.